is Frank Christensen, and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFF in Europe. This is the bullet training tape for referees on runs up the middle in crews of five, six, seven, and eight. Now keep in mind, this is the baseline, so it's up to you to add your own personal flavor to add bullets to the list. And with that said, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you find it useful. So here's the first play, and obviously, you know, before the ball is even snapped, uh, the trick is to count team A, make sure you got the substitutions right, uh, notice the down and distance, and uh, and then check out the formation. Now, depending on the crew size, formation is, is more or less important uh, here in a crew of eight. Uh, it's it's you know, it's less important because as a referee, you have your side of the you know, your tackle, the tackle on your side, uh, but as the crew gets smaller, you know, we get less and less help covering the, those tackles, so uh, you have to spend more energy uh, knowing which tackle is yours uh, post-snap, depending on, you know, what the play is, uh, but it's always nice to know what formation it is, is there a tight end to my side, all that, all that good stuff. So once the ball is snapped, Let's have a look here. So we we read the play. Obviously, we make sure that we get the handoff off, and then we go up to the line, uh, check the uh, check the lead blocks, and then once the 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 runner passes the line of scrimmage, really, it's, you know, it it becomes the responsibility of the wings. So what we can do as referee is is clean up the quarterback. Here, nothing happens to the quarterback, uh, so we don't have to spend too much time on him. We can we can move up to uh, you know around the 40 yard line and see what's going on there and clean that stuff up uh, but if the quarterback is is threatened we certainly want to know what's what's going on with him and and once the runner you know runs down the field uh, we're, we're cleaning up behind the play until the play ends uh, which happens here and then you know we still have responsibility for the for the cleanup as the first bullet and then uh, you know, we also clean up the O-line. Basically, again, uh, the same system is we clean up anything between us and the ball. We leave the runner to other officials, and we clean up anything that happens between us and the ball. And then we go go into uh, the normal routine of what is the result of the play here. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, kill the play and, and then signal first down and be ready to to um, to wind the clock back up again. And then we get into, you know, are we ready for the next play? Is the crew ready for the next play? Different game, different crew size. Uh, we've we've now moved on to crew of seven, but really, you know, and especially before the before the snap, the uh, the principle is the same. We count team A check out for for substitutions we notice down in distance and then we we check out the formation also you know where is my tackle is there a tight end that i also need to be aware of and then once the play goes we read the play we make sure that we get the handoff off uh we check the lead blocks in front of the runner and then you know here the quarterback runs a little bit so he could be threatened and we need to know what happens to him uh, here uh, it's it's not it's not a big deal, but we certainly always have to know what's going on with the quarterback, uh, especially when he's in the backfield. And then you know it's it's just a matter of cleaning up here. The play ends and we get into to clean up. We still have to know what's what's going on with the quarterback here. He's not threatened. Uh, we clean up on the O line again between us and the ball. Anything that happens that the, you know in an area that nobody else is looking at. Uh, we check the result of the play here. It looks like it is a first down, so we need to, you know, like this, stop the clock and signal first down and be ready to wind the clock back up. And then, you know, we get back into uh, uh, looking for, you know, looking forward to the next play and making sure that the crew is ready so that we're we're good to go.